Eight-year-old Cassidy of Schoharie County is an eager student at the Langan School at the Center for Disability Services. But today, it seems she wants to be the teacher. Cassidy has boundless energy and enthusiasm, so it's almost shocking to learn her story is really a medical mystery. Baffling doctors and frustrating her loving family, especially her mom, Michelle. When she was born, she was perfectly healthy. We had no feeding issues. Um, feeding issues started when she was about two weeks old. Um, and then it just kind of slowly went downhill from there. Um, she had hearing when she was born. She could hear perfectly fine. At the age of two, we discovered that she had lost her hearing with no medical explanation. Cassidy works with Ann Smolder, a very specialized teacher at the center. Ann's specialty is teaching the deaf and hearing impaired. It's so important for kids, especially like Cassidy, who have, you know, kind of many different needs, um, to, to just be in a setting where they have access to, you know, communication that's on their level. So for Cassidy, that's sign language, that's picture symbols, um, you know, access to materials that are really designed for Cass. I think just being in a setting where she has access to all those different materials and language models is really key for her. Her classroom is a specially designed move room. That's mobility, opportunity via education. A unique program the center offers with physical therapists like Amy Williams, part of the treatment team. When we're trying to give her a strong core and hips, um, because she doesn't have a strong base, which is her feet. And then having her at the center, um, you know, she gets the therapies that she needs every day. It's, she gets the one-on-one -on -one that she needs every day. Our local school district can't give her what she needs. Um, so the center has been very, very beneficial and she has matured at the center. She's become more independent at the center. There have been many disappointments as doctors try to find a diagnosis for this little strawberry blonde. The surgery to give her better hearing with cochlear implants was not successful, only resulting in some hearing, but not enough for hearing voices. Then there are the devastating side effects of growth hormone treatments that left her with neurological damage. Um, you know, medically with Cassidy, there's always doctor's appointments and there's always decisions that I have to make that I don't like to make. Now, again, Cassidy is facing surgery and this surgery is much different. This heartbreaking decision is something no parent could even imagine making. Cassidy is facing another surgery on her right foot, which ha she's had two failed surgeries to try to straighten her foot. Um, this next one she's facing is, um, well, we're hoping we'll have a better result, but there's a very real possibility she could be coming back with an amputation. Um, and I know that given Cassidy being the way that she is, that even if she had to have a prosthetic foot, she'd be fine. She would just take it in stride. So because of that, I decided that we would go ahead with the surgery. I wanted to give her the opportunity to still be able to walk. I didn't want, um, I didn't want her to be confined to a wheelchair if it was something that we could avoid. Cassidy's grandmother, Wanda, is holding out hope. You know, you've got to pray and hope for the best. 